it's funny people often comment to me and say jeff how do you put up with the negative comments on your videos why well, if you go back and look at my videos you'll see what they're asking about because man people get vicious with me and what i'm doing is i'm sharing the simple gospel message from the word of god and some people have a very difficult time with the bible in fact in our world today that's what people are doing is they're watering down what the scriptures say. In fact, they're perverting the actual scriptures to make it sound good in their own frame of reference. They have a ungodly, worldly view, and they're trying to make the Bible fit in that. So they're discrediting the Bible. So when a guy like me steps up and says, here's what the Bible actually says, and when the guy like me says, this is what I see the Bible teaches, and I, I teach on those very, very defined subjects in the Bible, that the world has so perverted that it, it, the Bible is unrecognizable from what they're reading. And I'm just saying, man, i got to say something. And so when people come back at me with negative comments, I realize that I'm reaching my target. Those people that I want to see what I'm saying are the ones who are living the wrong way that they might be able to see it and turn from their wicked ways. And so some of the people are giving me negative comments. Other of the people are reading it and or, or watching the video and they're saying, man, you know, this guy's speaking truth. And so, so I believe, I may be wrong, but I believe that those out there that don't know and they're just listening to the ungodly crowd and they're following that crowd. And then when a guy like me steps up and says, here's what the Bible actually says, I believe that there are more people out there that are saying, wait a minute. Let me rethink what I've been thinking about the Bible. I've been listening to the wrong people. And so they listen to this just old cowboy preacher there just telling it like it is, and it may change their mind. I believe the negative comments are like just a fraction of the people who are going astray, turn around and look at what I'm saying and say, man, I need to rethink my, my belief system here. So I believe it makes a difference. Here's the thing that bothers me. There's a lot of Christian content creators out there, and they get started, and they're fired up. I see a lot of young guys doing this, and I love these guys. And, and they get started, they get fired up, and they're starting to share stuff. And I know from where I stand what kind of negative comments they're getting, and all of a sudden they're gone, and they ain't sharing the content no more. And I'm saying, guys, don't, don't quit. Don't back up. Don't stop. The Bible says, you know, Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. And so what we're to do is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit and leave the results to God. And so what happens is, the world sees it, and it makes a difference. Think about this. We've got to keep on keeping on. And they can call you whatever name they want to call you. And I've often said, well, uh, when you can call me whatever name you want to, but when Jesus calls, you can call me gone because I'm going to skin out of here and leave this thing to the world. And we'll be back with Jesus one day to set it all back right. But I'm telling you right now, the point of the matter is this. God has given me a mission. He's given me a desire to share the truth in a lying world, to share the light in a darkened world, to share, to share holiness and righteousness in a perverse world. I want people to know a better way to live. I think about these people who are making the comments, and I think to myself, they must be very, very miserable with their life. I mean, if if they if they believe everything opposite of what the Bible teaches, and they're they're you wouldn't believe some of the comments that don't ever make it to your eyes. Some of the things people say are so vulgar about God, so horrible, say blasphemous. And I just delete those and keep going. But for those out there making the negative comments, I'm fine with that. It don't bother me. It helps my algorithm to be honest and it helps me get the message out even further. I'll tell you something else it does. It motivates me to keep on keeping on. Whenever you come back with negative comments, very difficult to me. You know, I just think to myself, well, I'm reaching the right crowd, and, and it's motivational. I see how bad the problem really is. You know, I didn't realize when I first started shooting these videos that the problem of, of ungodliness was so ungodly until the ungodly people started commenting on my videos. And I said, it is true. They really are that perverse. They really are that deranged. They are that messed up, and they need someone to speak the truth to them. If our gospel be hidden, it is hidden to those who are lost, and those people commenting are lost and Satan has got a veil over their face and I'm shining a light in the face of Jesus Christ that they may be able to see. And so I want to encourage all of you, you keep talking about Jesus and the negative comments, don't you worry about it. you got to understand those ungodly people out there that are blasting back, you got to understand they don't have any they don't have any restrictions on their morals 
on their so-called truth. They can lie about anything and they'll nitpick the Bible and they'll take stuff out of context and do all this stuff. You don't worry about that. You keep reading your Bible. You keep spending time in prayer. You get involved in a good, godly, Bible-believing church and you keep following Jesus. Come on, y'all. Let's follow Jesus.